CEOs like myself, we're trying to get our employees back to the office where we can collaborate, grow, learn together. And we do that with great office space, office space that's focused on collaboration, office space with incredible amenities, and office space with short commutes. I'm here today with David O'Reilly, CEO of Howard Hughes Holdings. Housing market headlines have been painting a picture of a national slowdown at best and a free fall at worst. But Howard Hughes is showing a very different and stronger picture. Tell us what you're seeing and why. Well, I think the fact and reality are so different than the headlines that we see about death and destruction in the housing market. While overall home sales are lower, the amount of sales of new home construction are as high as they've ever been, largely because the resale inventory is completely out of the market. The most valuable asset you probably have in your home, like most Americans today, it's not wine, art, cars, or jewelry, it's your mortgage. And as a result, you're not selling your home and giving up your most valuable asset, which is driving all household formation and all home buyers to new construction. That's driven us to 113% increase in home sales year over year at our highest price per acre in the history of the company. We're also struggling with the current state of office as our big metros are facing empty downtowns. Again, Howard Hughes is buckling the trends and showing strong leasing momentum. Can you speak specifically about office leasing and then more broadly about opportunities you see ahead as we see the evolution of how and where people will work in the future? I, I think the commercial office trends are similar to what we've seen in some of the residential trends in that migration pattern in flight to quality of life. Out of some of the coastal cities, out of the Northeast, Pacific, Northwest, and Midwest, into the warmer, less expensive quality of life communities like we developed, like the Woodlands outside of Houston, Summerlin outside of Las Vegas, Columbia, Maryland, office tenants are no different. CEOs like myself, we're trying to get our employees back to the office where we can collaborate, grow, learn together. And we do that with great office space, office space that's focused on collaboration, office space with incredible amenities, and office space with short commutes. And when you're building and thinking about where you want to put that office location, you want to do it in a commute where all of your employees can be short and it can get in and out of the office timely and make your time most effective in the office. And that's what our communities are delivering. And we're seeing more and more companies coming from California making that decision to you know, be in a state with no taxes, high quality of life, warmer, less expensive living. And where do you see the greatest potential for growth at Howard Hughes Holding? coming from in the year ahead? You're asking me to pick my favorite of, of six children, which I can't do. Uh, we are so excited with everything that's going on in all of, one of our, all of our communities. But I think right now, Summerlin, outside of Las Vegas, is really at the cusp of turning from a predominantly residential development into a residential and commercial development. We're working on a studio film tax credit with the state of Nevada right now to bring Sony Pictures that wants to spend a billion dollars filming movies in Summerlin. We're working with Mark Wahlberg on bringing one of his gym concepts into our retail center, and we're planning the next three multifamily towers, the next condo building, as well as the next office building for those corporate relocations, all in the heart of downtown Summerlin. 